Once we emerge from our stay-at-home order, our new normal will mean changing a lot of old habits when it comes to social etiquette. Sharon Schweitzer is the founder of Access to Culture, and she is joining us now with some thoughts on how things are going to be different and how we should handle them. Good afternoon to you, Sharon. Nice to see you. Good to see you also, and good afternoon. Okay, so to explain to people, give them a little background about what you do, uh, tell everybody what Access to Culture does. Access to Culture is an organization that trains folks who move to the U.S. and helps them explain how to live and work in the USA and what our customs and what our culture is all about. Which is we so, folks. Oh, I'm so sorry, go ahead. Oh, pardon me, after you. Okay, well I was going to say, yes, and you can tell the etic etiquette, nice etiquette lady is letting me go first, sorry to interrupt you there, Sharon. Um, so, but I was going to say that is so important now because we live in a global environment and we all do things differently and now more than ever, once again, things are going to change. So since we're talking about etiquette in this pandemic, let's talk about how you foresee things will be changing. I mean, just, you know, greeting people in the general public, what are some of the biggest changes you foresee? We are watching social norms change every day right now during COVID-19. We are watching people become more patient. We are watching greetings change. We are watching that our personal space, our distance is changing. It used to be in the U.S. that we conducted transactions at our what we call arm's length. And now it is changing into more of a six foot distance. Mm -hmm. And what will be interesting to see is whether that remains uh, more of a norm after COVID-19 mm -hmm. or whether we evolve into more of a six foot distance after COVID-19, sure. especially they're saying that we may be living with this for another year or so, at least through another flu season and maybe into 2021. Uh, the other thing we're going to see different other than just our personal space is also how we greet each other. That is changing. Also, our communications are changing. There's a lot more video conferencing, Zoom conferencing, Skype, a lot less meeting in person and face-to-face. -face. Okay, so let's talk about, um, well, let's put you in scenarios and you can help us out here. So you're out, you see someone ignoring proper etiquette, meaning that they are, they are closer than the six feet apart. Is it appropriate to say something to them? Normally, what we tell people is you never correct anyone else's etiquette unless you're being paid to do so. However, when health and safety are concerned, mm -hmm. you, of course, in this situation, we have health and safety that come first when it comes to COVID-19. So if someone is moving into your personal space, it is very important for you to say to them, excuse me, our family and my teammates and I, we are respecting the social distancing rules, so we need you to make sure that you remain outside the six-foot rule. So we are going to step back. We don't want you to be offended, or we're going to ask you to please step back outside the six feet. And we thank you for following the social distance. Hopefully at a future point in time, we won't have to follow this and we can all work together a little more closely. Mm -hmm. Karen, we are, excuse me, Sharon, we are breaking up a little bit here. So what's the website very quickly so people can go and learn more? The website is SharonSchweitzer.com. Okay, Sharon, thanks so much for joining us. Sorry about the technical problems too. Have a good day. And we'll be right back.